What's up and welcome to Making the Game Songbringer with your trusty friend, Wizard Food. Uh, yeah, another day making, working on this new boss and uh, today is a fun day. I get to indulge my whims, start working on the art and uh, music and sound effects and things like that to customize and make this boss really fun. So that's today's goal, fun. Work on making this boss super duper uh, exciting, um, make the flow of it all just right. Alright, so, <coughs> excuse me, um, first thing, this charge attack, it needs some kind of, um, he, his charge attack needs some kind of huge graphic that shows that it's really charging up, you know, because you can't, you don't really see, his, his animation is not big enough, it's like that right there, it's not that noticeable when he's charging. So there needs to be some kind of like all-encompassing screen element that just like shows that, whoa, he's about to charge up and let go. Um, I think I'll start with something similar to Rock's charge up, where it, it uses like a shape that starts really huge and gets smaller as it um, is almost charged up. This will be like a, a special behavior. There's charged doubles. Yeah, it'll be something like that. This will just be called charge. Um, there's already an anim that Rock uses. Shoot, what the heck is it? When you're holding the sword, there it is, charge sword. What the heck is this in the animation? Oh, implosion, charged. So it takes a node parent, float Z, vec2 pause, and duration and opacity. So Z pause, duration, and opacity. So Z, you can keep it nice and high. Pause, it's probably just gonna be E dot position dot pause, and duration and opacity. So we'll do float, yeah, duration will be the first float vowel, and then opacity will be the last float vowel. And then we'll get Ren to use it. Just 
special charge duration. Um, How long is it taking? Two to three seconds. Okay, this needs to be consistent, so we'll do a we'll do an exact delay, and the special charge is going to be the same duration and opacity. about there. What is rocks? Rocks is 160, which is oops, 160 over 255 is about, let's see how nice, 0.62. All right, let's see how it looks. Okay, let's see uh let's see what's going on there. Special charge. Oh, it could be the position. What is the position? Oh, right, given the parent, yeah, yeah. This should be a position zero then, probably. Pause, I prefer to get cons, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's probably what it was. Closing Xcode because it eats up CPU, constantly re-indexing. And I only got so much CPU while I'm streaming. Oh yeah. code again, huh? Oh, this is probably the opacity.
It's a rainy day today. Rain pattern on the rooftop. There we go. Cool. All right. So yeah, that helps a lot. Okay, so um, to distinguish it from Rockstar, definitely should have its own color. I think probably the same color as this charge attack there. So let's um, have to recompile names here, but uh. Let's make implosion charged take a color. And we'll parse a color. This pause can be parsed a little bit better. Like uh, size, we'll take the content size of the sprite. Actually, not get content size, but probably. Oops. Um, get texture right. But yeah, size is fine for now. Color will be Sturval. Around three. Pass that in on the end. Uh, what it was. We'll make that the default.
hand signs is not quite working there. Oh, um, let's verify that Rock's charge is still the same color. things up. Right. Let's see if that works. Set of the content size, which can be bigger, including uh, empty space, um, using the get texture rec, which should be exactly the size. But that might mess up the width. So I'll do that and make this more like a third, maybe. Whoa, <laughs> I guess that's the same number, right? <laughs> oh, that's probably gonna be some kind of compiler error on Windows. So I need, I can't keep that. I was like, I should keep that, but no. I swear, Microsoft Visual C++ is just gonna puke. <laughs> That's a thing I haven't been in a cross-platform game. Uh, should you use the same compiler, I think, but it's kind of nice to have three different compilers because you can catch like some bugs and issues that you can like, really catch anymore using three different compilers. Okay, cool. We got a nice charge animation going. It's unique versus um, rocks in its color, and yet it's still the same triangle, so it's kind of showing you that he's got the charge and you've got the charge. So it's good. Oh, I got Xcode open. Like, why is get that out of there? What is TextMate using CPU for? All right, cool. I like that. Next step. Next step. Um, ooh, what is what is most exciting? Let's just play and see what um what's the next most exciting thing to work on or obvious thing to work on. We'll see. turn it off this time. Oh, not, not Steam, CPP. This Steam. Or that Steam. 
think it's Steam. Um, it's something to do with sky tiles. Like some, it's like something is. It's considering that something is falling into the sky, so it's releasing some steam. It just looks weird. It's just kind of too much going on on the screen, so I want to get rid of that real quick. Really quick, so it's not like something you don't even notice. I don't even notice either. Yes, is this it? Little explosion. Little explosion? Steam. I, I think it's hitting the water. Okay, let's check out some variables that are being passed into this little lambda. So it's like, yeah, it's sizzling. Sky bridge toggle, yeah. Hmm. I would have thought we would have got. City breakpoint here this time. Oh, it might be. Is it here? Oh, yeah. I think it's there. Whenever the hero gets hurt, or either hero gets hurt. Let's, um, let's see that in action, though, just to make sure. Yeah, courage explosion calls little explosion a few times. And then the courage hits the ground. And does some steam because probably because it sinks. All right, does sink. Bridge does sink. It does sink. True. Tile. Blah, 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 blah. Does sink is contains K tile sink. Tile. So there you go. So the sky bridge toggle should, I don't think that should be a sink of like a sink tile. Oh, this might mess everything up actually.
needs to be smarter about how it, it syncs. So we can close Xcode for sure until I reopen it again. Um, yeah, I think what needs to happen here is like what if I go to here and um, I turn back on these regular waves, run it, kill some enemies, they won't sink anymore and they're kind of supposed to. I think. It needs to be smarter about how it syncs. Skybridge toggle should sync, but only if it's untoggled. Let's get back that search of tile sync, and everywhere it's doing this, it needs to be smarter. Okay, so the um, this should be this is all coupled. All these things are coupled here. It's like deciding on the logic of whether um, something should sync, like in f multiple places here, four different places. It's just super duper coupled, very uncohesive. So the thing to make it co cohesive is to make this actually use a, f a single function. First of all, I don't see why this doesn't use itself. Like why this does tile sync function not rely on that because I think it's the same damn thing. Okay, and then both these functions here
What? Oh, it's a concert of time. Okay, so one moment, we'll finish all this.
Okay, so the smartness to all this is to check check if the tile is a sky bridge toggle, and if it is a sky bridge toggle, then it needs to check if it's actually toggled. If it is toggled, then it doesn't sync. If it's not, then it does sync. Something like that. Okay, first thing, we'll run it, see if it's kind of like in the ballpark, if it's working, sort of. And then the next thing will be to go verify that all of these still work. I didn't break any of these does tile sync functions. backwards. Oh yeah, zero, zero is, uh, doesn't seem right. Now it's working. Oops.
that's that's so hard to verify. And you can see these particles with the uh, the these tile these scrappers toggles. They work. Um, we'll start verifying. Um, we'll start with just doing the regular wave and letting the waves change a little bit. Make sure it works even when you the the wave changes the ground. It's just because it's only comparing it to tile sky, and there's lots of kinds of sky. So there should be like a, yeah, K tiles sky is sky, sky secret, sky empty, sky bridge rise, sky bridge toggle. Yeah, this should be if contains. K tiles sky tile. types of usage of the does sync work. This little explosion seems like it is. There's there's one special case where does tile sync uses this alternate. It's not the pause, it uses the ent. So it checks a whole bunch of there it is. Pretty sure this is the only usage of that function. But this is what needs to be checked first here. This is for this is health system on death. If an entity cannot sync, then it checks. Oh, this is hasn't bits cannot sync. Okay, this is just making the an entity sync when it dies. I 
actually think that this might actually be working. We can test this right here. I think the um make those little guys be able to walk on a good on this guy so they their move mask let's just do no move mask I want to step into this method here. This checks every corner of the entity. Let's see if any little bit of it. Oh, no, yeah, that's. There's got to be a. I think there may be a. There might be two usages of this function. No, that's, that's it. Huh. What the heck? It's crazy weird. Ah, there we go. There's one of them is on that. Oh, just killed them all at once. Okay, this guy. Which one are we looking at here? This is um, three oh three twenty four. I think that's going to be it. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the guy. Three oh wow. I was lucky. So yeah, it tests every corner of this guy, but since he's already 
has. I guess that doesn't really need to be checked that much because it's, it basically relies on the same logic. If sync return true. Okay. One little verification that that worked. Let's do another visual verification this time. The guy that dies over the sky should sink. sink. Yeah, you're good. They just made it out. Okay. Um, there's some more usages of does tile sink. And that was, I believe, in Anim's blood. No, wasn't. Oh yeah, I guess it's using it, but it didn't change it. Oh, I had to have changed it. Yeah, this must be this function. This is oh, this is a little explosion. Where's blood? Oh, there it is. This is the blood references here. Okay. So blood. Oh, I know a great place to test this out. Sorium. see a ton of blood right here on the top and it's fading out quickly but it is it does look pretty accurate as far as it um, where it's placed the Y value that was part of this little code good okay what was the other usage little explosion okay yeah they're all good great okay so that was kind of a that was a long-winded uh, little uh, detour, but um, let's get this checked in.
NIMS area, input system, AI system, uh, Raza, undo that. All right, so we've got implosion charge, able to pass a color. And does tile sync is smarter about how it, whether it returns true based on if it's Skybridge is toggled or not. Oh, let's clean up some of this code here. It's comments. Whoops. Damn, well, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's check in on the source. Goodness. All right, next thing. Next thing on the list. The list of things. There's no list. There is no list. We're making the list as we go. Okay, but yeah, what was in my the mental list in my head? Um, the there he's got this freeze attack, and it's got this big old just just use this random image. It doesn't look that good at all. So it needs a good um, image for its for his freeze. So he's got a freeze. Let's use one of his animations for now. Same thing here. Oh, he already does that. Okay, never mind. Let's see how that looks just with the single animation running. Obviously, we need to do something else with the graphic for this whole image. It's like freezing.
So it's fading in. I'm going to make it fade into a little bit more opacity. Maybe it should be just a single white pixel scaled up like super huge. That looks cleaner, but it's not exactly too bright. So maybe that should only be like a third. I see. With the right animation that Ren does, it could look pretty cool. His animation do is to make it freeze. Make him um, face south when he does the freeze. Animate VV calendar freeze. Face south. Maybe dur south. Face south, dur none. Gosh, what other animations do we have for Ren already?
All right, nothing really. A lot of animations just are kind of like copied over from Keel mostly. Really not even done yet. Looks like with little particles. if it did.
Okay, let's see what happens if we apply that to all the children of the node as well. So hopefully that I, would, would at any calls fade. It also fades its particles, which are children of it. I think it's because the particles already have their own fading system. Got this overall opacity factor. Uh, this is too much, too complicated right now. I guess I can keep this there though. steam run out of steam it's not a bad start though um, you know it's a little bit cleaner for is that animation it's definitely cleaner for when he charges up I'll start a sound effect actually for his charge up.
check it in so far. And maybe I'll do a sound effect. Maybe. So data flows, data weapons, and source. Okay, if, if I were to play with one sound effect, it would be that charge up. And I think it maybe should be based on something similar to Rock's charge up. Kind of has a, the right vibe to it. Is it? It's not Chi Charge. Oh, sword charge. Okay, this lasts how long? I want it to last like twice as long. Like his charge goes so Right there should be about the two second mark. About like that, 60 FPS, 60 uh, BPM, sorry. Maybe it should be a little less uh, happy sounding. Arpeggiator.
Okay, let's give that a shot. I mean, see if it's even on the right. Anywhere near the right. Um, right feeling. Sword charge, all zero. Let's just go in. Raw waves. Rin's sound. Okay, is this in the ballpark? find those sounds where the tiles are coming up. longer and it doesn't really need these sword <coughs> the sword sounds <coughs> sound worked really good for rock but um and it was really unique but this needs to be something else I need to get some inspiration for this and try again but um at least i started it got some got it playing around in my subconscious okay well that's it for this video <laughs> excuse me um i hope you enjoyed watching hope you learned something maybe uh yeah, so we'll catch you all next time, next video. Until then, your friendly friend, Wizard Foo, is out. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>